Hello everyone, so today for you I have a Procreate tutorial in just a few minutes for beginners. So just the very bare minimum basics you need to know. So first off, I'm going to open my Procreate app, and what we see right here is the gallery page. And the gallery page shows you pictures that you're currently working on, or have previously worked on, they just stay right here and you can open them. So to open a page, you tap and it opens it all up for you, ready to draw. But if you'd like to start a new drawing, a blank page, you could click you click plus, and you see all these options. And it seems like a lot of overwhelming options, but it's really just different pixel sizes and different shapes of pages. So what I recommend, if you don't really need anything specific, clicking screen size, and it will create one for you in the shape of your iPad. So the first thing you need to know is how to draw. So first, Procreate, the way it's set up is you can just open a page and start drawing with your pencil. So it's already set, you can draw first thing. But what you might need to know is how do I change a color? So you can click your in the top right corner, this brown circle, which it will show up as whatever color you ch are working with. So it, you can choose a color by spinning the circle and just adjusting it until you find something you like, which is adjusting by saturation and light. So say I want to get a pink. Now this pink sits in this top corner and that's the color I've chosen. So what I can do is continue drawing with that and draw my picture. So what if I want to erase? Well up here we have a paintbrush and that is our drawing icon and we have another icon which is an eraser and that's for erasing. So what you can do is click it and then go in and erase whatever you would like. So next, what if I want to draw with a different pen? So I, I'm on my drawing icon, the paintbrush, but if I would like to select a different brush, I can tap this again and I now go into the brush library. So there's so many different options which can be overwhelming, but I'd say just pick one you like and go with that and then just try stuff out. It's really fun to see which texture and brush you like to use. So I'm going to go to drawing and pick, yeah, I'm going to go with Eagle Hawk. That's what this one's called. Now I just tap back out and I can continue drawing with this different brush. It's really cute. So you may have noticed how did I just erase that and I didn't even click the eraser button. Well, a shortcut on Procreate is you take two fingers and tap the screen and it undoes, it, it's an undo shortcut of whatever stroke you just put on. So if I go, oops, that doesn't look like what I want, two fingers undo really quick. So I can use a different, any different brush I want to draw with, but one thing that's interesting about Procreate is you can do the same thing with Eraser. So if you tap on the eraser, you see the eraser brush library, and it's all the same exact brushes you have in the brush, like the drawing brush library, in the eraser. So I can go to drawing and find Eagle Hawk, the same exact brush I used before. So I can come and erase it in the same texture, which is pretty fun. So you may have noticed whenever I tap this, it goes into this other thing. This is expert advanced settings for each brush, which you know how to get there, but it's not super important f to mess with that if you're just a beginner. So I'm going back to my drawing. I'm going to pick a sketching pencil. I'm back on this pencil. But what I want to know is how do I adjust the size? How do I make this a smaller pencil? Well, over here we have two levels. So we have one here. And one here. This is the size. You can move it down and up and have a percentage of how big your brush is. So I want to be at 50% and now this brush is smaller than the last one. Maybe I'll take it way down to 10%. Really tiny. Really fun. I'm going to go ahead and use my eraser and adjust that to a bigger eraser brush. I'm going to take... Hmm, I'm going to get a more solid brush than the texture one. Take it to 100% and erase this really fast. Another thing you can do, which is fun on Procreate, is you can draw something, and that's pretty small on my page. So I can take two fingers and zoom in 
to see what I'm drawing better. Zoom back out and you see how small you just drew that. It's pretty fun. Another thing that's interesting about Procreate is down here we have the opacity and you can adjust that. And what opacity means is how see-through is it. So this is 100% opacity right here. If you reduce that opacity, we'll say by 20%, it gets a lot lighter. So now you have a brush that's lighter. And this way you can layer things better. So if I go over it again, it gets darker and so on. So we now know how to draw, erase, use color, change the size, opacity. But what's this button? Right here, this hand. So if we take a pink line, we'll zoom in a little bit, and maybe we change our color to blue. Let's go for blue. Well, if I tap this hand icon, which has a library just the same, every single brush that's on the drawing and eraser libraries are on this library, we can now blend. And so that's what this button does, which is a pretty cool button. If you want to shade or blend colors, it's really, really helpful. So I'm going to introduce you to this final icon on the right upper hand side of this page. We have two squares. So what these do, they are layers. So I'm going to start with a blue circle. This seems more purple than blue, but it's still a pretty color. If we start off with this blue circle, we can tap this and it says layers. So if you think about layers, generally it's like you layer things on top of each other. And in the same way, you can do that on Procreate. So there's another little plus button here. We can say add. Now I can draw an orange circle above it. But you may be wondering, couldn't I do that with one layer? Well, let me show you the cool part. You can take this layer, drag it, and place it under the purple circle. So it's really cool that you can adjust where things sit if they're on different layers. One thing I love to use layers for is for reference. So say I'm drawing a person and I do a rough sketch. We have a stick man, lovely stick man. Then we go to add a layer. And what if I want to clean up the sketch? Well, if you click in, there's an in icon right here. You click it. it. There's that word opacity again. You can adjust the opacity and make him more and less see-through. So I'm going to put him pretty low down. And I'm going to s make my brush smaller. And now we can go in and clean up the sketch to be more accurate to what we want it to be. And then turn this one off and now we have our better sketch. I love to use this for bigger drawings when I am drawing uh, like people. I will do a, a first sketch and then I'll go on top of that and clean it up a lot so it's a lot smoother. So I hope this video was helpful for you learning the basics of Procreate, the ins and outs, just so you can get in and start drawing. Um, so I'm going to go in with a speed paint of a drawing I've done on Procreate, and you guys can see how I use Procreate to do it. Enjoy! <laughs>